Well, I am definitely not presentable for this intro, but oh well. Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're... Let's change this up. If you want to watch a 21-year-old farmer get some stuff done, or you're slightly interested in farming, see what I did there, guys, hmm? Then you're in the right place. Thank you for tuning into the video. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to support me in any way, the biggest thing you can do is give me a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know, hey, people like his stuff. If you have any questions, write a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's easy. You just click and then it notifies you when I post a new video. So that way you won't miss out. Okay, I've been talking way too long. Let's get into the video. Okay, this morning I want to transfer a bunch of corn into the hopper bottom. Ronnie's been hauling a lot lately, so it's getting down there again. So I need to suck out all the pits and make sure everything's running smooth. We'll get to moving that. Ooh, that's nice and full of water again. Got some digging to do. I forgot my tripod in the sprayer, so Dad's bringing that over later. So you're not going to get to watch me clean this up. So we don't have giant messes like this in the future. What we're going to do is take this end piece off here and buy a 35 degree angle kit so it takes it off the ground and then we won't have to dig a hole under this and it won't fill with water and corn and it'll be a lot cleaner. The reason why we have to dig a hole right now is because we didn't want to have to put any fill under any of our bins. That bin's coming down by the way because it's destroyed. But we didn't want to have to put any fill under the bins and by fill I mean lime to pack it down to raise the base up. We just put it on virgin ground that way we wouldn't have to worry about the sink spots in our foundation therefore the concrete shouldn't crack or not crack nearly as easily that means the bend is flush with the ground not the best situation but it's nice your floor doesn't crack it's not super flush with the ground like water and stuff doesn't run right up to the metal in the bend it's probably three four inches off the ground but when we get this 35 degree angle on here we'll be good to go make it look more like a bend site not a rotten corn junkyard. Always trying to improve, always trying to improve. Pulled the 4880 out of the big machine shed, that way we have room to get that seed in when they come. I'm still sucking out pits, I got one more to go. Two are already done, and then I gotta check the hydraulic oil in the Oliver and then fill it with diesel. I don't wanna unhook it from the auger that it's on, so I'm gonna take the dually. It's on the seed tender right now. Back the seed tender into the big machine shed, unhook it, and then we'll fill the diesel tank in the back of the dually and then we'll drive that around to the Oliver. And that way we don't have to unhook the Oliver. Work harder, not smarter. Wait. Work smarter, not harder. I struggle sometimes. This shed needs cleaned out. You can't see it right now, but the seat tender's behind me. Now, for some reason, I have the slightest inclination that this box is full and this one is not full. I don't know how I know that. So that means if I unhook it from the truck, the trailer's gonna wanna go whoop. So we're just gonna use the skid loader to anchor down this end. I'm starting to get pretty smart, aren't I? There we go, we're holding her down with the skid loader bucket. It's a good thing I did do that. I kept one safety chain on when I took this off and it moved that far and it kicked up and I can stand on it and make it bounce, so. That tire is also low, which doesn't help. Let's go fill the Oliver with diesel now. Of course, I parked that right where I need to get through. Holy cow, this thing's dirty. Let's try this again. I thought there was enough fuel in this tank to fill the Oliver. There wasn't, so I gotta get more diesel real quick. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna put some hydraulic oil in it too. She needs engine oil as well. Good morning. Ooh, we got some super wides in the back. I thought I overheated the sump pump. Turns out it was unplugged. All right, guys, you got daddy cornstarch. 
had come over to help Cole and he's trying to pump some water out of a hole. He said it's been overheated for like 45 minutes. And I looked over here and there's the other end of the cord all the way over here. So I'm almost guessing the sump pumps unplugged and he went to college. We're packing business. All right, we got Cole the Corn Star backing up the auger wagon. We're gonna take a little bit of corn out of the augers, make sure there's no water in them before we pump into our hopper bottom. Not too bad for a rookie. We're gonna fill this and we'll back the semi back on and get this bin full today. Dad's gonna watch that. I'm gonna go grab lunch real quick. Got the goods. That's not a gravel road. Four for me, two for dad. Oh, good job, dad. We're gonna look at some corn that's popped out of the ground real quick. Dry a little on top. Look what I found. We're gonna hook the dually back up to the seed tender. We think after we fill the planter with fuel and some seed, that ground might be able to go. We gotta look at a field that we wanna plant into, but probably an 85% possibility it's good to go. If it's anything like the field that's around the house here, it could go. That bin's not gonna be full for another five hours or so of those augers running. So I need to keep an eye on it just in case something overfills or if an auger stops, you know, that kind of thing. We don't need any more massive piles of corn on the ground. So while that's filling, what I'm gonna do is go in the little bin site there with the Bobcat and I'm gonna clean up some of the junk metal that's in there. I want that whole bin site area cleaned out, so we'll get to it. Sounds like Ronnie's on his way, so we're gonna get the grain cart ready to dump that on him and then he'll pull under the auger and we'll fill him up. Ready to go. All right, let's fill him. Okay, now Ronnie's gonna back up and fill from that yellow auger. right here. Got a little ways to go. Cleaning up some rotten corn. Look what I found. Treasure. Seems like a good place for it. Now my hands are gonna smell nice. Ronnie's full now. He's taking off for the night. We'll fire this back up. Upper bottom's almost full. A couple more hours. Yeah, I'm tired. We'll let the tractor cool down quick. Then we'll put something over the exhaust pipe and we'll call it a night. Of the video guys the worst part i know a lot of you have been asking for more videos once i get the house cleaned you will have more videos i'll be doing two a week then but right now i'm trying to do half a room a day this house has like 14 rooms in it so it's taking a little while i've already got several done i'm on the downhill stretch but once that gets done then i'll be able to make two videos a week i just don't have the time to do it right now bear with me guys thank you 
You guys are awesome. As always, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm once again. If you have any questions, write it down below and subscribe. Okay.